Robert uh, Kerhirlik. I want to echo comments that are made expressing my disappointment about the, uh, the British government's decision not to have an independent inquiry uh, into the, uh, the Pat Finucane case. Um, but I want to echo as well the, the comments uh, of Senator Cummins. Um, it does not make sense uh, that we have a situation whereby cinemas and galleries and museums can open, and it is right that they can, uh, and yet theatres, which are safe, controlled environments, are kept closed. You know, we will see far more people in retail outlets and in supermarkets over the next few weeks than we will see in theatres. And we saw when theatres opened, uh, when they were permitted to do so earlier this year, they were able to do so in a very safe uh, and controlled way, uh, and it provided um, people with an opportunity for, for entertainment. So I would ask uh, that consideration be given, particularly at the, you know, coming up to the Christmas period, uh, that we do look at a way in which we can reopen uh, our theatres. I also want to ask Leader, uh, and we have asked for this on a number of occasions, uh, about a debate with regards to the rule of law in Hungary and Poland. Um, people will be aware that uh, yesterday um, the Dutch Parliament has now uh, voted to force its government uh, to take action before the Court of Justice of the European Union against Poland uh, for, for breaches of Article 7 uh, of the EU treaties. And I think it is no longer acceptable uh, that Poland and Hungary are holding vetoes uh, at European level where they are constantly breaching uh, the rule of law, where there is no respect for the judiciary, where there is no respect for freedom of the press, where minorities, and particularly the LGBT minority in Poland, are being treated with such disrespect. And the European Union is about values. Uh, and I would ask that we have a debate in this House about Poland and Hungary's continued membership of the European Union uh, if they are not prepared uh, to, uh, to follow the rule of law.